um, and one that the ECR has very much recognised we need to be champions of better regulation, of doing things better, and especially of freeing up companies to create the jobs that we all hope they will do. And forever we've preached a, a sort of diktat of it's not um, EU legislation or EU reports that create jobs, it's businesses and companies that create jobs, and we have to make it as easy as possible for them to do that. So we set up um, a working group um, to discuss policy, and it was very much based on the Prague Declaration, which really binds our group together. And there were three um, topics, I guess, in, in the Prague Declaration that we concentrate on. The first is free enterprise, free and fair trade and competition, minimal regulation, lower taxation, and small government as the ultimate catalysts for individual freedom and personal and national prosperity. Now, I think that is very key to um, our work. Also, the sovereign integrity of the nation state and a renewed respect for true subsidiarity. And the third one of the Prague Declaration that we work with is an end to waste and excessive bureaucracy. So those are the sort of guiding principles. And the policy group has done really quite a lot of work over the last couple of years. Um, there are a number of re reports, um, and anything I mention will be on the table outside for those of you who haven't seen it. The first thing we did um, back in January 2015 was all about reshoring, bringing jobs back to Europe that have been offshored, usually to the Far East, but are now coming back to, to Europe. Um, we also produced a better regulation toolkit, and there are copies of this available. Um, and it's really allowing ECR members, regardless of what committee or reports they're working on, to have some ideas about um, how we can reduce the amount of bureaucracy. Then we are about to publish, which I can't give you today, but it's, it's already on its way, a paper on sunset clauses. So the legislation that will automatically come to an end unless someone says it's really good and we ought to keep it going. So that's a, a different approach to, to deciding you know, forever, but let's limit this and, and prove through impact assessment whether it's working. And we also um, had a lot of impact um, in what was called the inter-institutional agreement between the three institutions. We were instrumental in getting an annual burden survey on the stocks so that not only the burden on business created by the commission will be analyzed, but in my view, equally importantly, the amount of gold plating that member states then add to the legislation and of course, often Europe gets the blame. So another example of where we can be, be doing good work, often behind the scenes, often quite unsung, but I can tell you that particularly with the IIA, we made a big difference to what was finally agreed and we're pleased with the, the work of the, of the group that we've had. And I also would like to pay tribute to the other members of the um, policy working group. It's so important that uh, although it's being led by um, a UK member, it's got members of other um, delegations within our group, of other nationalities. So I am hopeful and confident that its work will continue in the years ahead after the UK departs. So my aim is very much to make sure that this um, direction for the ECR on better regulation continues. And I'll, at the end, I will tell you what, our, what we have in the pipeline. But let's get back to today. And I'm so delighted to have many experts here to talk to you. My plan is to introduce each one in turn, let them make a presentation, we'll go through all the presentations, and then we will open it up to the floor for questions. And you can identify the individual that you would like to answer your question so that we can um, make sure that you, you get the, the answer from the person that you want. 
So, without further ado, I will introduce our first speaker, who is Uwe Combouchon. Now, Uwe is a great supporter of ECR events. He was with us in London um, and has worked consistently to help us, and I'm very grateful to you, Uwe. Uwe is the Director General of CMIT. A CMIT is the Council of European Employers of the Metal, Engineering, and Technology-Based Industries. He is actually a lawyer, and he has been with CMIT for um, a number of years, and has done some very good work for them, and I think very much in line with our agenda here. So, Uwe, over to you. 